Welcome back to the channel. Uh, right before I start, I would just like to say that the majority of my views are from viewers that are new to the channel, uh, not previously subscribed viewers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. I would appreciate it greatly and it will help me out a lot. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The hunter dragged himself forward, leaning on the alleyway and clutching his wounded side. A trail of blood follows him as he desperately slips into the back entrance of a hunter's hideout, which sits now silent and dead. He slams the door behind him, but knowing his time is short, thick black smoke is already creeping in through the bottom of the door. He gets to work quickly, grabbing a medical trauma kit and beginning to treat his own wounds. Even through the excruciating pain, one feeling swells to the surface, past the pain and grief and fear and heartache. Regret. Why had they insisted on provoking her? Was it worth it? What would become of... His thoughts were cut off by the blinding pain of alcohol meeting his wounds. He doesn't have time to stitch. She surely heard his cry. Instead, he opts to quickly wrap his wounds in bandages. A temporary and desperate job. Like the fires of hell itself await the other side of the door. No, both doors, front and back every possible entrance she found me runs through his thoughts darkness begins to replace the light he frantically begins an incantation he was one of the few people in the world capable of magic maybe his light could keep her at bay it was you I smell her on you you killed her the demon's angry voice echoed around the room like an earthquake. His spell goes off just in time, as the steel doors fold in and crumple. A creature of pure horror floods the room. Her form quickly fills every corner and crevice of the hideout. An inky black mass of smoke, shadows, tendrils, eyes, and far too many mouths. Each more filled with teeth than the last. Every inch of the room is her, held back half a meter from her victim by the light. His screams of terror do well to ease her mood. Creeping tendrils encircle the barrier, waiting for the first sign of vulnerability. Tears roll down his face and drop to the ground. He could only kneel and hold his defense firm while the pair waited for the inevitable. He would join his organization in death. He would surely break his focus, or maybe he'd simply starve or even suffocate. Already his vision begins to blur, blood loss catching up with him.